as accountants talk about financial statements, we're usually talking about three core statements, the balance sheet, the income statement, and the cash flow statement. Um, and there's different levels of services that we can provide in preparing those financial statements. Um, but there's also different methods of accounting that can be used in preparing those financial statements. So there's you know a wide variety when people say for financial statements, what exactly are we talking about? And unfortunately, a lot of clients don't really know what they're looking at either. The biggest thing is what do you need to know to run your business? Forget the tax stuff, forget you know financial reporting requirements. These are your statements to run your business with, and so what do you need to know? And sometimes those things that you need to know are not necessarily part of the basic financial statements. They may be production reports, which become eventually part of the financial statements, but they're not there you know, immediately at hand. First, what is it that you need to know to really run your business? Second, the timeliness of those financial statements, I think, is just critical for a business owner. You know, we often talk in accounting that accounting is the scorecard for business. You know, this is how you measure how well you've done. Well, you don't want to get the game score after the game is already over. You know, you want to know what's going on early enough so that you can adjust your game and make a difference in the end. Common misconception is somebody come in and said, well, you know, I got 33% food cost, or whatever the number might be. Well, that's fine. What, what was it last year? What was it last month? What was it last week? You know, the, the raw numbers aren't all that exciting. What's exciting is what the trend is. Are you doing better than you did before? Are you doing as well as you expected to do? Are you doing better than you expected to do? So you have to have benchmarks. The numbers in and of themselves don't mean much. They're only relevant when you look at some kind of measurement for those numbers. So we never look at a single point in time. Um, we look at a trend, and whether that's on the financial statements or, or a trend in like accounts receivable aging or cash collections or any number of accounting and financial uh, criteria. One of the other phrases that we often use in our business is past performance predicts future behavior. So if you're going to say, well, you know, next year I want to increase my sales by $100,000, $200,000, whatever the number is, well, what did you do last year? What was your increase last year? If it wasn't at that kind of mark, what are you going to do differently now to get you there? So you kind of, you know, unfortunately, sometimes people look at historical numbers and they don't use those as a, as a stepping stone to the future. And that's really what they need to be done. You need to take that history and say, okay, how am I either going to follow that same pattern or how am I going to change that pattern?